And what's going on, fam? It's your boy Fontaine, VIPSoundLab.com. Just got some questions in regards to how to stack your plugins and instruments. So this is going to be really fast and easy. It's going to be really ABC one, two, three. So how it works is on your sounds here, I have two Nexus instruments. Um, I chose Nexus. Of course, you would basically choose whatever instrument is that you want to use. Because a lot of times, you know, when you want to have a sound that's thick, a lot of times you want to layer your instrument. So, I, you know, I'm definitely feeling you on that. So basically to get it set up, you can see right here under the channel. And of course, you know, these icons here are basically your channel properties. That's what this uh, little area here is, is known as. So in a master group and a sound level, you know, I went to a sound level, as you can see right here, here's my output. And as you can see right here, I have Nexus here. So if I'm on the plug in here, the instrument comes up like so. This is just a, a regular stock sound. And I'm just, I'm just using one of my, my uh, piano presets right now. So if I was to play in the keys, So, you know, just a regular instrument. And if I go to another sound here, another Nexus instrument, I have another, uh, I think like a synth sound or something. You know, not trying to play anything, just bugging out on the chords a little bit. You know, I, I play around with the keys a little bit. All right, so let's say if I want to stack this instrument with that instrument. Now, you want to go back to your channel properties first. The first thing that's going to come to your mind, you're going to think probably audio or, you know, running through the aux or things of that nature. You really don't have to. Or you're going to be thinking MIDI channels. <laughs> you don't have to think MIDI channels, man. Like As long as your destination is set up under your MIDI, you're good to go. I mean it's so easy now with the new machine 2.0. So I select here, you see right there, it says Nexus 2. So when I select that, so as you can see, when I, when I hit the piano, it's a lot more prominent than that lower note. But, but if I'm up here, you notice how you hear that synthesizer in the back with the piano key. So let me pull it up like this so I can make it easier to see. Pull it up like this. See, as I hold the key, you hear more of the synth in the back, but you hear the piano up front. So if I turn the volume down right here, all you're getting is that, uh, that synthesizer sound. So if I turn this up a little more, You get it more of the piano, you know, and it works vice versa. I mean, even if I was over on this uh, Nexus instrument here, and let's say if I went back to my channel properties, you know, it's on output, I can select the other one also. You see, it shows it right there. So that's pretty much how that works, you know. Then if I was over here, same thing. Let me pull this up. So you basically can't hear both. So if I turn this down, you get more of the, the piano. But if you listen real faint in the back, you can hear the, see if I just hold this key. So you actually can control your tones. So, you know, that's basically how you do it. Because again, if I turn this down.
right, so that's pretty much it. It's your boy Fontaine, VIP Soundlab.com. Don't forget, we have a VIP membership. That's a one time fee. It's $9.99. No monthly fees. Again, I repeat, no monthly fees. We give out free drum kits and things of that nature on the website, as well as free machine tutorials, and we give out, you know, a lot of free goodies. Um, before I go ahead and end this video, I might as well show something else right quick because it's really easy. I was messing around. I was uh, trying to see if I can import some legacy files from the NPC into a machine. So while I have it up, let me jump on this group right here. Here's a, um, I label it a Kai NPC. It's just a blank group. So this is going to be really fast because if you scan it in your library through the folders, the project files or PGM files from a Kai is not going to show up. Uh, you know, I had to find that out. You basically, you still have, you got to go to your computer under files and search for your Akai programs. And here's just an, uh, an, a stock uh, Akai kit. So you see right here, the PGM file shows up as long as you search for it and, and it's not scanned into your library. So I'll click on this one. It says ARP wave and machine gives me this little uh, menu here where it says NPC import. And it basically works just the same as it did in the 1.8. You know, if you're going to import all banks, you select that, the sounds show up under here. If you're going to do one bank or individual bank, when you select the other banks that's in the NPC, you can do it like this right here. Okay, you see how it's a little bit different? It's showing pads 1 through 16. So whatever sounds is in those banks is going to determine, like right here, bank 4 is completely empty. So if you want to do one bank at a time, you can do it like that. Or you could just press import all banks. So, so did it right there, and you see it load up the sounds. So... It's pretty much how it works. I don't have my uh, machine hooked up right now. I just have my keyboard hooked up, so I was, you know, messing around with the keys, so I can't get the. Or it's really low. You can hear it barely. It's like really low. So that's that's basically um, how you do that. And I think I had another question up here in regards to your scenes. Yeah, I think they were confused with the scenes. When you're touching your scenes like this, see, when you touch your scenes up here, you see the little looper. It, lo it moves, you know, wherever you're at in the timeline. And this little guy right here is not going to be able to loop if you're over here or over here. You got to be right in this little spot right there. You see that? So you can move in real time. So if I let me turn this off right quick. You can move anywhere in time like that, like this here. You know, whether it's, you know, forward or backwards or you know however you want to do it that's basically how that works so if you want to loop something that's basically how you get that done moving this little icon here around okay so however you want to do it that's you know that's completely up to you so i think there was another question i had um oh i think it was in regards to this retrigger icon yeah that retrigger icon just basically means it's going to start uh, a loop over depending where you have it going like for example let's say if this was playing like this and of course that's that weird little arp sound down there don't pay no attention to that but let's say if it was um going like this here and then I went to the scene here you see how it just kept going because it's on 16th but if I hit this icon here it's re-triggering it back because I have it looped like that so if I have it like this, as it normally should be, and each scene is playing like this, and then I jumped over here to this scene, see how it just immediately jumped over and started like that? Because if it was on scene, for example, it would wait. See how it's waiting? It's waiting for that whole entire scene to play out first. Then it goes over that way. So let's say if it was on like, one eighth or one sixteenth or whatever, and I didn't have this retrigger icon on. Let's see, like this here, it just continues playing like it normally would. See how, like, wherever it's at, it's just gonna like keep going. See, it doesn't stop. So, if I put it back on 16, so whatever the case may be, it's still gonna play the same. Basically, it's just quantizing it. So, whenever this retrigger icon's on, it's gonna start it over. See that. You know, that that's all that is. So, you know, that should clear up any confusion on that. So, all right, man, that's pretty much it. It's your boy Fontaine, VIP Soundlab.com. Just showing you how to stack your instruments. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace. Need weapons for your lab? Get into
industry standard professional drum libraries, free machine tutorials, machine expansions, and more. And more. Keep it locked to www.vipsoundlab.com.